2014 was obviously the best year we probably had in a long time, as with any dairy operation in the country. And um, 2015, I remember looking back on some sales tickets. Uh, I remember January of 2015, the milk price was $26. February it was 19. So we lost, you know, seven dollars in 30 days on milk. So you know, you put that. An operation like us, that's thousands and thousands of dollars. And then from February of 2015, it slowly, gradually went downhill. So, I mean, we're in the $14, $15 range now, which is uh, ridiculous compared to the price of our inputs. You go back, $14, $15 milk prices have been around for a long, long time, going into the 70s, I think, which was well before I was born. And uh, if you take them $14, $15 milk prices and compare the inputs now, and the inputs then, I mean, the, the, the difference is staggering. So uh, our margins are so much smaller. Another thing is, is our production steadily gets better. So that helps us make up for it. But we're forced to make them better, but we're forced to get every last pound out to make up for the, the, the squeeze between the inputs and what we get paid. So it's pretty, something's gotta be done. I don't know what's gotta be done, but it seems like it used to be that the milk price fluctuations used to happen in a cycle of three, four years. Well, now I believe they're going to happen within 12 months if it keeps it up. I mean, it's supposed to bounce back up, but it, it's just getting crazy anymore, and it's hard to, um, it's really hard to budget for the future long term. Like uh, we bought that land in 14, which was, you know, obviously the best year, but we knew it would not stay like that. So we were ready for milk prices to fall, but it is hard to go out and make long-term investments of a lot of money considering you could lose 50% of your income in 12 months.